Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenges in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. We've only got two left now. The only ones we failed. Waka Waka and Suicide King. Now I'm scared shitless of Waka Waka. Suicide King is one that we should have won, except I was an idiot and did not realize that we were going to have to go all the way to, um, what's today? November 25th. Uh, this is Suicide King, just for my own records here. And the seed, STGF. G-D-T-N. Alright, I was an idiot and didn't realize that we'd have to go all the way to Isaac. That is an okay start. So the thing with Suicide King, this is my first... Ooh, yes? Look, it's a pretty risky pickup, and we will die as soon as... Because when I pick it up and leave, I'll only have one heart left. That's why I'm trying to desperately shoot this uh, fire here. Um, if I pick it up and leave, I'll have, oh, I'll have one heart. Okay. Never, I'm an idiot. I thought that was Judas Shadow for... I mean, I didn't think it was Judas the Shadow. I thought it had the effect of Judas the Shadow. This will up our damage while uh, lowering our HP to some extent, at least. I'm very happy... I'm very happy to have it, though. We actually do have the Are You a Wizard impact, which means we should definitely just kind of cool it here for like a minute. This is a weird way to start it. What do we need to remember about this? We need to remember... That probably won't work. Need to remember that, um, still, are you a wizard? I'm going to be going up against Isaac on this run. So we've got to survive for a long time. So I don't mind giving up HP early to get the extra damage bonus that's going to come from Abaddon. There we go. Uh, assuming that the extra damage bonus that comes from Abaddon actually works with Ipecac. This is definitely not how I expected to start this episode. Uh, just with, like, a, a staggeringly transformative item. I'm not necessarily saying it's, it's a great choice for us or a bad choice. But the thing with Abaddon is, is that I might actually just, like, be content to take, um... Abaddon, even if it didn't give us a damage bonus. Even if it only gave us six black hearts for the cost of the three red hearts we started with. That might have been, like, an acceptable choice for us, you know? Because of our HP, uh, and, and, and how our survivability is gonna work. Like, six black hearts might go a longer way than three red hearts, but I don't know yet. And, um, we'll, we'll have to see how this progresses as time goes on. In a way, taking uh, experimental treatment scares the shit out of me here, but it does give you all stats up. Our damage is good, our speed is good, our range is great. In fact, our damage is absurd now. Our range is actually quite high as well. Our speed is extraordinary. Okay, this is gonna be interesting at the very least. I am gonna try to do as much exploration as possible. This is, this is hard to get used to. My speed is actually nuts. But I think experimental treatment worked out for us. I think we did get a nice little damage bonus there. We might have had a... I mean, what could possibly go down? Because we had so many things go up. I think maybe we had a, a tears down in there. Okay, stop trying to curve your shots. Just land them directly like that. This actually seems like a pretty... Oh, nice. A pretty sweet uh, setup for this run, if I do say so myself. I really thought that would hit them. I think we can afford to use bombs here. Mostly I'm trying to get some, some cash out of the situation. Uh, so we'll try to blow up pots as well. It's just a... That was really dumb. It could have backfired so easily. It's just a little risky to do so. You know, when you're... Um, when you're rolling with uh, My Reflection Ipecac. Things can backfire pretty quickly. That worked. May or may not ever need that bomb. Just making sure that I've actually uh, landed my shots there. Kind of backfired. I wonder, like, yeah, I was gonna say, if we can just get all the poop explosion there, that would be great. Maybe no uh, regular secret room on this floor? That's how it's looking right now, so I say we just head down. Um, I'll keep looking here. We've already been to our curse room. Look, we're in a weird situation, that's all I'm gonna say about it right now. Could be good, could be bad. But for now, I'm, I'm not overly perturbed by the situation. Hey, hey, Tomo! Be careful, buddy. This is a dangerous situation that your, you know, interspecies father has uh, put himself in. Okay, we did find our secret room. There's another speed upgrade, which would, you know, did not bear taking, but we took it. Paralysis, and then two of the same pill, which are tears down. So we're definitely not going to take that with us. Although it could if we got PhD become like a tears up. Interesting run so far. And again, recall that we have to go all the way to, uh to the Isaac fight here, all the way to the cathedral. I don't think we have to go beyond. I'm assuming that would just be ridiculous. 
to be honest with you, I don't really mind getting a Tears Downgrade pill that much because we already do so much damage with each of our Ipecac shots that it, it, it really doesn't matter that our, our rate of fire is slightly nerfed. That was really dumb of me, though. Larry Jr. next? Yes, uh, let's get out of the way. Like most regular enemies, we're going to kill in one or two hits, so who cares that we're not firing as rapidly as maybe we, we might have been moments ago. Now, I am hoping for a deal with the devil here. Uh, there's any number of, of choices. That could have been terrible. There's any number of choices on a deal with the devil that would make my life a little bit easier. Uh, Dark Bum is kind of like your, your requisite obvious choice, I think. While we're in here, maybe we can shoot uh, Impacac over this. My, hum my hunch. My hunch here is that we can actually maybe find a secret room. I don't want to use all our bombs if we can avoid it, but... Eh, big deal. You know, we, we pretty much have unlimited shots anyway, I guess. So we'll check here. Or not. We'll check there. Oh, I really did not expect it to be there. Obvious answer or, you know, question there would be, why are you looking in that direction then? Hey, man. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. And then you might say, hey, that sentence is completely meaningless in this context. And I would say, hey, don't worry about it, okay? This ain't, ain't nothing but a B thing, baby. We have enough keys. I don't really want to go to a dice room. There we go. Uh, like, I don't really want to go to a dice room. But we'll see. We've got enough keys to go in here anyway. Yeah, this is, this is great. So my hunch is that... We just use one bomb to blow up all three of these, rather than risking uh, hurting ourselves with Ipecac. We get, oh my god! We get Transcendence, or Fate, sorry. It's been a while, which basically allows us to fly and gives us one potential HP. Um, so that's going to allow us to get all these bombs, which is awesome. That was really bad. Bob's Rotten Head is meaningless, but the ability to fly is a, a pretty clutch upgrade for us here. At least that's my philosophy. I'm trying to be a little cheeky with these shots, but, you know... If it helps keep myself out of harm's way, that's the only thing that really matters to me right now. I should be looking for Tinted Rocks too, but oh, it's not always easy. Okay, that was really, really bad. But, we do have the added luxury of our shop coming up soon. At least I hope it's added luxury. You know what? Let's just everybody cool it here for a second. I'm happy to have this HP upgrade. It compensates a little bit for all the dumb damage I took there. And we have a coin purse. I I don't love this situation right now. I'll just be honest with you on that. I also, I should say, I don't really love the idea of getting Bob's Rotten Head when Bob's Rotten Head probably does less damage for us than literally a single one of our tiers. I'm trying to, like, guess where a second secret room might be. I'm hoping that it's adjacent to this room right here. And it seems like there's lots of opportunities for that. Like right there. There we go. Had to get a direct hit. Okay, we know what some of these are at least. Tears down. Puberty. Are you a wizard? Speed up. Let's take it just to be ridiculous. And luck down. Man. Well, I probably won't be buying coin purse then. Oh, I didn't know that Bob's Rotten Head. We should really not fire. That worked out for us, but we should really not fire at the same time that Dingle's charging. And that worked out much better for us, I think. Uh, we get Squeezy, which is a great choice. And then we get a deal with the devil for the Mark and for Headless Baby. Well, we can only take one of these right now. I think it makes... Lucky me. I think it makes the most sense to take the Mark. And I think because we have so much money, I am going to come down here to our shop and uh, pick up the Spirit Heart. And maybe the key as well. Don't really care about the uh, the coin purse at all because the pills that we've run into for the most part have been terrible. I like this. We've got a great amount of damage already thanks to experimental treatment and uh, the mark. Squeezy buffed up our HP, gave us a tears upgrade. Uh, we, our DPS as a result should be very, very good. Of course, we still have the, you know, the problem of my reflection Ipecac, but that's okay for now. It's still like a the biggest black mark for me... Ooh, on this, uh, like, this assortment of challenge runs that I've done. That's really good, actually. Is, uh, sure, I'll take Fanny Pack. I'm gonna end up hitting myself a lot, probably. So, anything that gives you, uh, HP when you take, or not HP, but gives you a consumable when you take damage is worthwhile for me. Because I will probably end up taking a decent amount of it. But, um, the biggest black mark for me on these challenge runs was definitely the fact that I lost on Suicide King. Like, I'm really hoping to redeem myself here, because... 
We, uh, we should not have lost that one. But we did. And it was, you know, pretty much unequivocally 100% my own fault. So if we can redeem ourselves for that, that slight, I will feel much, much better. I don't think this is the right way to break these golden poops. Are we really going to sit here for like 10 minutes and try this? The answer to that question is, unfortunately, yes. There we go, that's a good speed. That was a little too fast, maybe. Problem is that once we uh, encounter some rooms, they're really going to crap on us. That was not what I meant to do there. Um, like, rooms where a lot of enemies rush us down really quickly are going to be super annoying. Which means, like, these boss or mob trap rooms can perhaps be some of the most annoying rooms in the entire game. Okay, not really concerned about this. Abaddon still does give us... Yeah, I wasn't completely mistaken about Abaddon, was I? It still does give us, um, a, a damage bonus if we die, right? Like, we'll, we'll respawn, but with better stats? But it also gives you the, like, the weird black heart gambit. So maybe we haven't actually gained damage from Abaddon yet. This is the problem, is that I've seen all these items, not the only times I've been on these challenge runs, but a lot of the times that I've seen them have been on these challenge runs, because it's all we've been doing lately, and it's messing with my, uh... Those are such terrible items. It's been messing with my, you know, my equilibrium and my sense of, uh, of what these new items do. I think I had it confused with Judas Shadow twice there, not just the one time. Not really that interested, so I guess I might as well blow it up. That went pretty well. And maybe we can get better shop items uh, from our next floor. So yeah, Bob's Rotten Head, not only does it do less damage than our Ipecac shots, but I'm pretty sure... That was so dumb. Uh, but I'm pretty sure that it also gets affected by my reflection, so why would I ever take it? Or why would I ever use it? We'll just head down to the next floor. Not even going to explore everything, because that's just extra liability for me. Catacombs 2. Most important room for us. Oh my god. Most important room for us. Definitely the shop. Second most important room for us. Uh, the boss room. That's pretty much it. I would be a lot more aggressive about... <sighs> At least we got a dime there. That, that'll pay for the spirit heart we lost, presumably. Um, but... Uh, yeah, we'll, ch we'll check this out. At least we got a dime there. That'll pay for what we lost. I'm not even going to bother shooting that poop. I'd be more aggressive about blowing up these mushrooms if we actually had any history of half-decent pills. The only pills that I've really enjoyed thus far have been the speed upgrades. We'll definitely buy Pandora's box. Could give us two items, or uh, a bunch of spirit hearts, or fairly, you know, low returns. But I think it's worth the money since we have it anyway. Yeah, so we get a matchstick, matchbook I should say, which gives us an evil up, which is a... A half black heart in this case, but it filled up another spirit heart container, and that's pretty good. So, there wouldn't be a second secret room. Well, it could be here, maybe, but unlikely. Makes sense to check these rooms as you come through them, though. I don't think they would be here, because they'd be uh, mostly inaccessible. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the matchbook, at least. I don't think it's the best payout we could have gotten, like, literally could have gotten from Pandora's box. I think there is one that gives you two items instead of one, but as far as one item goes, matchbook's alright. I'll take the the one utility heart, which will be the category, I guess, of which we'll describe, um, you know, blue and black hearts. Spirit and, well, black hearts. I need a better name than black hearts. I've heard some people calling them, like, evil hearts or, or sin hearts or necronomicon hearts. I don't know. Black hearts just kind of rolls off the tongue better, but then it raises the question, why don't you call them... You know, blue hearts instead of spirit hearts. Well, you know, old habits die hard. That's what Bruce Willis said. So nine lives actually gives us HP. So there's no reason not to take it. Plus, the chance of becoming Guppy uh, is it's very tantalizing, isn't it? If we can become Guppy, our flies would do a ridiculous amount of damage. That's got to hit something, yeah. Uh, our flies would do a ridiculous amount of damage, and we would... I, I wouldn't say we'd mostly be safe... But we would be safer. Now I've gotten to the point where I'm like, can I actually aim my my reflectionness? Let's not worry about that too much. Um, but yeah, we uh, we'd be in a better position if we could become Guppy. We always are. But in particular, if we could become Guppy on this run, it would it would mitigate our risk, and risk is really the defining characteristic of the Suicide King run. 
And we're almost at the HP cap. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, that doesn't really mean anything. Might sound a little overly pessimistic there, but... I really don't think the Suicide King, uh... Or I, I really don't think being at the HP cap means jack shit for us. Unless, uh, I can guarantee myself being there in the future. So, if I could get something like a Satanic Bible. Or, a Book of Revelations. Or, um... That was really dumb, but I didn't take damage, thankfully. Or, uh... Dark Bum, you know? Any items like this. Of course, yeah, you know, I'd like to have some of the best items in the game. Who wouldn't? But, I'm just, you know, I'm telling it like it is. That's basically what we need here. Or what, what I would like to have. We might not need it, but that, that jury's still out on that. One thing's for sure, this is, it's definitely a tricky run. I feel like I've made mostly sound decisions thus far, though. Yeah, we're just gonna leave. Uh, we should actually go back and look for our second secret room. Dark One is one of those bosses who I actually think, uh, I, I probably grossly overstated how difficult Dark One is. On this run, it's not even really fair because we do so much damage that it's not an accurate comparison. Might as well take it. And Krampus's head would be a nice one for us too, of course. Actually, Lump of Coal would be great as well because our shots are going to stay in the air forever. But uh, yeah, I think Dark One, once you get his patterns down, it's kind of like fighting the Fallen, you know? The Fallen originally seems very difficult, but once you get him, it's kind of not so bad. Krampus has had substantially better than Book of, or um, substantially better than uh, whatever we were using, apparently. Um, Bob's Rotten Head. See, that's, that's how little I cared about it, I didn't even remember. Alright, uh, we, we gained HP, and uh, I think we, we put ourselves closer to the HP cap, and we got a good spacebar item. The speed plus range upgrade, mostly meaningless, but hey, I'm, uh, I'm happy regardless. We also got a little closer to becoming Guppy. Which always, uh, you know, basically it's Lloyd Christmas, you know, so you're saying there's a chance. I can't believe I didn't get that last hit. It's okay. Bosses or uh, the enemies we face right now shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, disregard that. Yeah, that was dumb. All three of you are still left? Or were there four of you to begin with? Okay. Lucky me, I guess. I apologize for it being Curse of Darkness, but um, as you know, I, I hate it as much as you do, and I have no control over it. Which is also how I would describe my baldness. That's actually not fair. I'm I'm very happy to be bald. I, I resent, although it's not like a genuine concern. I resent the idea. Hmm. One sec here. Try to get these skulls just to see if there's anything worthwhile. You know, we have enough bombs that we can just do this. But I resent the idea that, like, if you're bald, it's got to be like an accident or something. You'd be surprised how many people not come up to you because no one or very few people at least have the sack to do this in real life but the number of people who online will be like why is he bald does he have cancer and you'd, you'd say like oh they're just being assholes but some of these people like genuinely just have no concept of the fact that that's a super weird thing to ask somebody even if somebody had like an IV bag in their arm and a t-shirt that said like I have cancer if you went up and said whoa do you have cancer I think you're you're in the right position to be like hey dude kind of a personal question to ask a stranger anyway I, uh, I, I like my baldness, and, uh, you know, whenever I tell that to people, they're like, yeah, but if you could have hair, would you? And I'm like, man, I'm not saying that any one, I'm just going to use the pill, or the, the two of diamonds right now so I can get enough money. Anyway, um, people always say, like, yeah, but if you could have hair, you would rather have hair, right? Honestly, you know, I'm not trying to say that people with hair are doing it wrong, but what I will say is it's it suits me, and it's super low maintenance. It is like... You know, you, you don't know it, but if you spend like 10 minutes a day on your hair, if you spend zero minutes a day on your hair, then whatever. But if you spend 10 minutes a day on your hair, it's nice to not have to do that. I, I know that I can leave the house, and whether I've taken a shower or not, I'm going to look pretty much exactly the same, which is nice. I mean, you still you might smell shitty. Uh, we don't really... Oh, I didn't finish that off. Okay. Well, yeah, you you might smell terrible, but that's that's on you, you know. You got to take care of your own oils and stuff like that. Baldness is, uh, you know, I, I reject the idea that it's kind of a, a, a malady or something like that, or even worse, like a disease. People are like, oh my god, you're bald? I'm so sorry. I'm like, man, have you ever dealt with, like, any real problems in your whole life? Even if baldness was, like, an objectively bad thing, 
I am super lucky if that's the most objectively bad thing that I have going on in my life. Oh no, I don't, I'm a, I'm a, you know, mid-twenties married male with no hair on the top of his head. God, why are you so cruel to me? Don't worry about it. It's all good. And this, you know, I, it's different because I'm on the other side, but if you're listening to this and you're a, a man, uh, particularly, a, you know, a young man, you got some receding hair, some thinning hair. I know how it was, man. I, uh, I started to get called out for, for thinning and, uh, you know, receding hair when I was 18. Final year of high school. Pretty crazy, right? I, I had shaved my head, well, I was actually, I guess, 17, but I, uh, damn. I, uh, shaved my head completely by the time I was 19 and I was in college. Uh, you'll, you'll get through this, man. Don't worry about it. I know how it is, you know? Checking yourself out in, uh, in mirrors while you're walking on a windy day or, uh, you know, storefront windows on a windy day just to make sure, you know, your hair's still in the perfect place even though it probably still doesn't look that good. You could just do what Jeremy Piven did and get some of his back hair stapled to the top of his head. I don't know, it works for him. He's an okay looking guy. But, you know, you might, uh, you might find yourself a little bit more freed, a little bit more confident just by default when you, uh, when you shave your head. I'm not saying it's for everybody, and I know the default complaint, you would be amazed how many people say, I have a weird head. Oh, you don't understand, Ryan. I have a weird, where's our shop? There's no shop on this floor? Oh, it must be here? Yeah, oh, yeah, weird. Um, we, we definitely don't need the ladder. I guess I don't need to buy the battery if I can just kill these guys. But, you know, I, I see you people out there. Not all of you have got weird heads. Stop using that as, a, as an excuse. I, my suggestion would be, you know, just give it a try. If you, uh, if it bothers you, just give it a try. Let's put it that way. Um, and if your hair doesn't bother you, then don't give it a try. And you might be saying, hey, you know, my, my wife, my girlfriend, whatever, they won't let me uh, shave my head. Well, you know... Just the same way that being bald, if, if it's an objectively bad thing, is not a problem. Having thinning hair, you know, some some dudes actually look good with a horseshoe. And, uh, you know, not everybody looks like George Costanza, and some people uh, like looking like George Costanza. I really wish that we'd gotten a deal with the devil here. But either way, it's just hair, man. It's not that big of a deal. But if you're looking for that extra push, hopefully that sorts it out for you. I also don't buy into the whole, you know, bald brothers type thing, you know, like, oh, that guy's bald, I gotta give him like a nod when we're on the street or something like that. It doesn't, it, it's just hair, dog. Get over it. Don't let your hair define your life. What do you do, freaking, you know, do you work for the superficialist? Is that even a blog? The superficial? I can't remember. It's been a while since I cared about celebrity gossip. And by a while, I mean an infinitely long time. But I have cared about web media. So this was like definitely not worth coming in. Let's let's discuss a little bit more of this Suicide Kings run. Because we're not really on a uh, We're not really on a tangent focused run right now, which is to say, we're not shitting all over the game. This is still one that's very much up in the air. Like a Jorge Clooney film. High Priestess is a good card. This is Depths uh, 2, right? So we'll be fighting Mom. I really should have taken a shot there. Uh, we'll be fighting Mom. Let's take a look. 20 minutes. So we're not getting boss rush. Not that I, I would have wanted to get boss rush, um, but it could have been useful if we could teleport out of it, you know? I always like to I always like to consider that possibility, that we could actually get into the boss rush room, pick up an item like Spoonbender, and then teleport out, and that could be useful for us. Should probably go check and see if we won there. Um, but in our, in our current state, that's, uh, well, okay, that's just not possible. And that's okay, you know? That's not really a big deal either way. These rooms have been shaping up pretty easily. I really should be blowing up all these skulls. I've, I've been lazy about it. I'll, I'll be the first to admit that. Yeah, let's, let's take that opportunity here. It's hard to land the the shots appropriately to actually blow up the skulls. You gotta cut me some slack there. Because yeah, these black cards actually could end up making all the difference. That rerolls everything that we have. I'm not gonna do it. Even though I know it, it could be an easy way to handle the Suicide Kings run, unlike our head trauma run, I actually think I'm in a, a position where I could be reasonably expected to win this. So I'd actually, you know, the devil you know, as I like to say, and you know, so do all of your grandparents. The devil you know is, is better than the devil you don't. So I would, uh, for the most part, much rather take like a 60% a chance to win this run than reroll it into something that admittedly, that was really bad, admittedly could have a 100% chance to win or could have a nearly 0% chance to win. 
That's my uh, thinking on the matter. So, unfortunately, we've been kind of screwed with our shop items thus far. That was a really dumb place to put myself. Yeah, this room is annoying. Alright, we took care of it. That's fine. Uh, our HP is not really making me feel lovely right now, but I do appreciate the extra black heart. What is wrong with me? It's the problem. Well, not, it's not really a problem. Now, this is just a joke at this point. Are you a wizard? I can see forever. Tears down. Puberty. Tears down. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll use um, I can see forever on this floor to help us find the second secret room. Sure, it could be more valuable on the next floor, but the high priestess is probably even more valuable than that on the next floor. So, we should um, we should stick with that, I think. Let's see if we can find some black cards here. We're very unlikely to need as many, um, you know, stationary bombs as we have. Death card. Well, we'll use that on this room. Makes my life easier. Uh, oh, it didn't work because uh, these fucking zombies spawn with a very brief period of invincibility. It'd be nice if I could actually land a shot up here. Yeah, that's the... I was going to say earlier and I got distracted. Um, this is the problem with the Suicide King's run. It's not that... You start with low power. It's nothing like that. It's that your power is kind of unwieldy. You know, it's just as likely to hurt you as it is to, to do damage to the enemies, which makes it a very interesting run, but also a run that, uh, for sure, can be quite frustrating. So I'm trying to stay away from these guys because they're annoying. And uh, instead, I'm taking aim whenever possible at the bodily segments. Now, for all the complaints that I could possibly offer about this run, we've also been very lucky to find ourselves... We'll take Polaroid here. We've also been very lucky to find ourselves in a position where we got a free ability to fly. We have an extra life if I die. Um, maybe that's just... Oh, I have, I have ten extra lives if I die. The odds of me beating Isaac without getting hit once are not good. But they're not impossible, considering the, the amount of damage we're doing and the, the way that we're dealing that damage as well. Um, yeah, it's it's... Conceivable, but unlikely, probably. But this is okay. Uh, we we could make some good stuff happen here. You know, I'm just gonna like walk you over here. We should be looking for secret rooms, and we should be blowing up all of these uh, like polyps we come across here. I, I've got to change my thinking sound so that it becomes more like the Tetris music. Do, 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 I hope I don't lose this run, bo do, 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 really don't want to do Suicide Kings every day for the rest of my life. Boo, do, 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 anyway. That could have worked. It didn't, but it could have. The extra spirit heart? You never know if that's going to be the spirit heart that, uh, that breaks the Isaac's back, you know? That was a little frightening. Chubb should not be insanely difficult. Hey, a range upgrade. What's this? A new a new pill? And a pill that's not bad? Holy heck. I didn't know that would be possible to happen on this run. High Priestess is still our baby. Oh, right. We're on um, the womb. I really think this is a good balance change, by the way. But uh, it, it does take some getting used to to remember that... Oh, that's bad. Yep. Yeah. does take some getting used to to remember that the womb forces you to fight uh, three bosses in your boss rush rooms instead of just your requisite two. This double monstro shit is ruining my life. Wow, that was not good. Yeah, that went terribly. Now, I'll, uh, I'll admit, our guppy chances don't look amazing right now. Don't pay me lip service. Yo, oh, it could still happen, Northern Lion. I got three guppy items in one room once. Sure. It happens. People win the lottery. What are the odds of me specifically winning the lottery? Not very good, especially since I don't think I've ever purchased a lottery ticket. That really, I find, lowers your chances. Uh, okay, so this is a tough one. Left hand or demon tail? Um, I, I think I have to go with left hand. Even though demon tail might give you a... M I gotta try might give you a much better individual chance of getting, uh, you know, utility hearts, if I'm going to coin that term. Um, the left hand also gives us the added chance of getting the guppy items, which I, I think makes it 
good enough. You might disagree, though. I don't know. It's it's hard to say. Things are not looking great. But that can change pretty quickly. Come on, polyps. Maybe a secret room. Ah, that's pretty unlikely. That we would find a secret room down there. Uh, there is one of these. Actually, there's one of these on each side. Not loving it so far. All I would really... Oh, come on. All I would really need to feel great here, though, thank God for that, is, uh, and I mean this sincerely, is a deal with the devil. There are so many deal with the devil options that would improve my life so drastically. Are you kidding me with that homing bullshit? Oh, my God. Starting to get salty. You can't let the salt overtake you on a run like this. You gotta... You gotta stay vigilant. I mean, it's hard for me to imagine losing this run twice when, uh, you know, runs where I was just given... I, I think this is doable. You know what? Maybe we'll try it this way. Um, where runs where you're basically just given Guppy's hairball and a few flies, I, I beat on the first try. Now, it wasn't easy. But it did get done. Hey. Hey. There we go. So yeah, you know, I'm I'm not uh, I'm not loving my performance here. Don't enter into this point. God damn it. Don't enter into this point of the video and say, hey, Northern Lion. Uh, I I'm not sure if you knew this, but you're playing badly. Look, I know it. It's also a much trickier run than I think a lot of people give it credit for. But I, I do want to make sure that I don't have to do this run a hundred thousand times over the course of my, my life here. In a way, I'm almost excited by the, uh, the possibility that we might have to try to beat all of these late game bosses without getting hit once. We'll have multiple attempts at it, but I'm a little excited by that prospect. I should probably be frightened by it. And I'll admit, there's a little bit of anxiety that goes into this as well. But also, a heck of a lot of like, okay, this is my chance to make myself, uh, maybe not a hero, but to, to play well and to prove that I can do what needs to be done. This is the ultimate don't use guppies, or don't use Krampus's head on this room, room. Well, I did not expect to find that there. That's a really nice kind of boon for us. I'm excited about that. And finally, we won't be able to, oh. We won't be able to use Krampus's head on the boss fight. It shouldn't matter, and it's just a normal boss. It's Conquest. So this is bad because we're not gonna get any item from Conquest. But I, I don't know, I don't feel like Conquest is as hard as it used to be. That was a pretty tight dodge there. I can't really take credit for that. I was pretty confident I was actually going to get hit. Now, I think the only way to guarantee a deal with the devil is to not get hit over the rest of this fight. Like, not lose any lives against Conquest. I'm just as likely to get hit by my own hand here. Wow. I can't believe my shot didn't hit, by the way. That Oh my god. God, just land! There we go. We did it, and we did get our deal with the devil. And our deal with the devil has Guppy's head. Which, with one HP, I think I gotta take Guppy's head. Even though it will kill us. Maybe especially because it will kill us. We respawn with nine lives, we take Krampus's head with us. So now, we're only one Guppy item away from becoming Guppy. Guppy isn't the only route to victory here. Oh good. Curse of Darkness. Guppy isn't the only route to victory here, but it's it's definitely a big one. This is going to be problematic. And this scares the shit out of me because like Waka Waka I don't think is going to be that uh, easy either. I really thought Suicide Kings, I'd like warm up on it. 
get a decent run, and then, um, you know, do Waka Waka, and hopefully knock the rest of them out before I even finish my morning coffee here, but this is not the situation we appear to have found ourselves in yet. Instead, I'm uh, dealing with some tricky situations here. This room's not so bad, for, for us at least. That probably would not have found it. How about over here? Nope. All right. Bad, bad, but we lived. Okay, I, am I going to kill myself to go into this room? Yes. Because we have to. There was always the chance that we got spirit hearts on it. Oh, no. Are you kidding me? I thought it would respawn us out of the room. I think we may have just killed ourselves then. That's a nasty way to lose this one. Doesn't doesn't one of our lives bring us like our our Abaddon life? Doesn't that bring us back? Uh, like fanny pack, pay out here, man. Pay out with a spirit heart or something. I thought our Abaddon life brought us back with like three red hearts or sorry, three spirit hearts or something like that. Nope. Goodbye, cruel world. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I should have looked at that earlier, but hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I think Suicide King is a pretty apt term for this one. I am displeased with myself, but I'll be back with Waka Waka next time. Thanks for watching. If you'll excuse me, I have to take a long, hard look in the mirror.